In this video, we will look at how gold stocks are holding up in the recent equity market volatility. And just before we start, a quick disclaimer that the information in this video is only for information and entertainment purposes and should not be considered investment advice. And you should always consult your licensed investment advisor before adding any of the investment vehicles discussed in this video to your portfolio. Overall, for the past five months, we are seeing a general risk-off sentiment, with the market very concerned about inflation and the U.S. Federal Reserve's potential reaction to this inflation, with it talking way more aggressively lately and threatening rate hikes as early as this month, which is way before the originally expected 2023 rate hikes. So looking at the S&P 500 as an indicator of this volatility, which is an average of the largest 500 U.S. stocks, we can see volatility starting to pick up considerably over the past five months, with four big drops in the markets. First, a 4.1% drop in late November 2021, then a 3% drop in mid-December 2021, and then the two big declines more recently by 9.7% in January 2022 and by 8.3% in February of 2022. Now we want to see how gold and gold stocks have been doing in the context of this equity market decline. So we take this S&P 500 performance from above and rebase it to 100 to make it comparable to gold, gold ETFs, and other equity indices. So gold has actually done very well, better than we had originally expected at the start of the year. We can see here that the S&P 500 and gold's performances were actually quite in line with each other through most of November and December 2021, but from January 2022, we start to see the big divergence as inflation fears start to really rise, and then there's this big jump in geopolitical risk on top of that, sending gold up 10.8% since November and the S&P 500 down 8 9%. So with the U.S. Federal Reserve on track to start hiking interest rates soon and valuations in equity markets still very high, we see the probability of further downside for equity markets from here as higher than upside. While it might be expected that higher rates could bring down gold as bond yields could become relatively more attractive, U.S. real yields are actually still quite heavily negative, and we expect the rate hikes themselves to be very low and quite gradual. Now, this might be enough to scare equity markets, but actually not have that much of an effect on gold, especially with the offsetting factors of surging inflation, heavily negative real bond yields, and a dramatic shift in geopolitical risk. Now, here we compare gold to other more risky equity indices like the NASDAQ and the Russell 2000 to see how strong the current risk-off sentiment has been. The NASDAQ index consists of more high-tech stocks and is down 9%, and that's actually around the same level as the S&P 500. But the Russell 2000, which is an index of smaller cap stocks, which are especially perceived as riskier than the established giants on the S&P 500, has really gotten hit, down 16%. So gold itself has certainly held up much better than these two risky indices. Now we can shift over to gold stocks, specifically looking at the GDX, the ETF, which is a proxy for gold producers, and the GDXJ, a proxy for junior gold stocks. So we see roughly two phases over the past five months. In the first phase, from November 2021 through January 2022, we see an initial pickup in the GDX and the GDXJ that gives way to a major decline by January 2022 in both of these ETFs as the equity market sell-off begins, even as gold remains quite flat. In the second phase, starting in February 2022, the equity market sell-off continues, but gold starts to pick up substantially on surging inflation and rising geopolitical risk. And this drives up both the gold producers and the juniors, offsetting the pressure from the equity market decline. Now, the GDXJ does lag the performance of the GDX, as we might expect, as there's still the issue of smaller, riskier stocks overall, seeing a lot of pressure over the past few months. And the juniors are certainly risky as they have no revenues and often need additional capital to keep exploring or developing their projects. And weakening markets can be particularly difficult for them because they can suddenly have more difficulty in accessing capital, which is not such an issue for the producers with their internal cash flow generation. It's interesting in this context of a general risk off sentiment in equity markets to look at just how substantially the GDXJ ETF of junior gold miners has outperformed the NASDAQ and the Russell 2000. 
These junior gold miners are strongly outperforming even in a time of a substantial sell down of smaller riskier stocks and the juniors certainly fall into the smaller and riskier category. It really shows the support provided to these stocks by the gold price rising towards 2000 US dollars per ounce which means very wide profit margins for the producers and these producers could be encouraged to invest more heavily in the industry including the projects of the junior miners which has clearly been enough to offset their high risk over the past month or so. If you are interested in more detail on the Canadian junior miners, have a look at our upcoming product, the TSXV Top 50 Metal Miners, A Time for Caution, which gives an overview of the top 50 metal miners on the TSXV covering gold, silver, copper, and other base metals, royalty and streaming, lithium, and uranium companies. The main thesis of the report is that while we expect gold to hold up well offering support for gold stocks, we believe that equity markets overall will continue to be under pressure and that this will be an offsetting downside driver for gold stocks, especially the riskier junior miners, depending on a range of factors including how high rates are hiked, how high inflation gets, and if geopolitical risks continue to surge. The TSXV Top 50 Metal Miners product will be available on our website www.canadianminingreport.com soon and we also have a free weekly report and other long form regional reports on junior gold miners there. Also we are very interested in your comments so feel free to leave one below the video.